Introducing the new interface of OpenBridge Designer Connect Edition. In this new release, we recognize actually two workflows, one called the BIM workflow and the standalone workflow, and we use the OBD file to organize our work. Let me show you the final product. As we go file open here, we have a file. We're going to show you the creation later, but and this is how we organize this OBD file. As you can see, the OBD file uh, recognizes, as I said, two workflows, the BIM workflow and the standalone workflow, meaning the BIM workflow, you will need to create or add a project, like I added here, the Sawgrass project, and this project may have different models, right? And each model may have its own DGN file being recognized. Now, how you create this or how you add it, actually, it's uh, very simple. For example, let's create a new project from scratch. So I will go and say, I knew I need a new OBD file, and I'm going to call it uh, test, right? So, and I will do it using the BIM workflow. So for that, I will create a project, right? As I did before, that was the I-95 project, for example, or I-95 corridor, right? It's a long project. And inside that project, I may have new models. So I can add a new bridge model here and say, this is going to be the Davy interchange, right? So, and on that one has a bridge inside, right? This model, and I will open it with Open Bridge Modeler. So here is the same bridge, Open Bridge Modeler that we know, right? And it will ask me to open an existing file or create a new file from a seed file. But let's see that it is in this project, with this model is using this DGN file and I just open it. Now in this BIM workflow, as you can see, the analysis is locked down. There is no option to do a standalone analysis because as you're doing BIM, the model is the one driving uh, the design and the further interoperability, right? So doing that, that's my bridge, right? And this precast bridge is the one for that model. Open Bridge Designer, through the OBD file, has recognized that inside the DB interchange model, I'm using the DGN file driving that. And on top of that, I have a live connection to the file. Because here, I haven't even opened the file. And I'm just using this a viewer to manipulate to see the bridge. So you don't even need to open the file to see what's inside. And then you know that this file that is called precast bridge, right? Or could be called BRDR01, maybe to abide some CAD standards. I know uh, its path location, I mean, uh, there's details of time and date. But not only that, but I know also that this precast bridge is using the model as the DB interchange. So not only identify as a, the structure type, the DGN file, but also, oh, that is the DB interchange bridge. And then I can keep going and say, oh, this is a big corridor. So then I will have maybe the uh, Griffin Road bridge, right? And this Griffin Road Bridge may be a different one, or maybe a steel bridge. So I can just go and open it with Open Bridge Modeler, right? And then again, create a new DGN file if I need to, or open an existing file that I'm may maybe already working on. Maybe and this is a steel bridge, right? Or a segmental bridge. Open it, use it, keep designing with it. Now, the advantage of that now, recognizing that this is a true BIM workflow, right, is that, as I said, this, to get into the analysis part of it, right, is that my choice is right here. So that is where I can launch the analysis. In this case of a segmental bridge, I should be launching RM, for example. Right, so this is how you secure this BIM workflow on that. So now 
this is a new project there's a griffin road bridge on the segmental bridge now and then you can create as of course as many different ones here 595 the i-75 corridor for example right and then multiple bridges not only multiple bridges on the same obd file but maybe even different projects for that right so now but no 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 what about if i don't want to use a big workflow maybe i want a standalone workflow so then i'm disconnecting from bim and saying that oh i need to design just a small bridge that i need to select and i don't want to model that actually i just want to go straight to the analysis so then i can go and launch a standalone i can launch uh Libridge steel or Libridge concrete and saying that is the same uh Libridge concrete that we're familiar with now the difference is that you are using this as a standalone product right and then uh you don't have a model per se, you're just going straight to the analysis part of it. Now, what is the on the future? In the future is that uh, as we go model following the wing workflow and then perform the analysis, launching from the inside, Libridge Concrete, Libridge Steel or RM Bridge, after my model is created, I should be able to connect and establish connections with GINT for maybe soil structure interaction, for pro structures, for rebar detailing, or for visualization going straight to lumen rt and taking this bridge right to visualization and that is the new interface of open bridge designer thank you